All right, so what I'm gonna teach you t today is how to work on, how to create a document. And th this document, I'm gonna share it with the whole class, okay? Uh, what I've done is I've created our class as a group. I had to do that before class. So I put all your emails in a group and it's gonna be called BTT1, I believe. I'll, I'll double check that. Uh, but I'm gonna create a document and I'm gonna call it something very simple. So you saw, I'll call it, as you notice again, whenever I wanna name a document, this is something three or four of you didn't do uh, whenever you created your sample document. You click at the top and you call, I'm gonna call it, what is your name? All right, and I'll put a question mark. Click okay. So I've created this. I'm gonna put a table and I'll put two columns, uh, two or one, let's go with just one. And I'll put 13 for now. This is what I'm gonna do. I want you to notice something different about this word processor that you would not have in Word or OpenOffice. If you look over here at the top right, there's something called share. So they actually want you to share it. And if you click on this right now, you can tell that this document only belongs to me. It says private to only me. Only you can access this document. I'm gonna click on the share button. I'm gonna type BTT1. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. I wanna look, I want you to look over here. I know I could expand this and I will so you can see it a little bit better. I'm setting it so that you guys can edit it. So that means you all gonna receive this document in one second when I press on the button. And what I want you to do, every time I send you something, you have to go to your Gmail to get it, okay? And I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration of what that looks like. So I click on the button, share it. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna just shrink this here. Click done, and if you look at the top here, you have your mail, click on this mail button. And I want everybody to do this right now, go to this mail button, go see the email that I just said. It'll say something like, M. Dubois has shared something with you. I want you to click on it, and I want you to start typing your name. Well, I'm just wondering if it, it should be. I created a BTT10, and it should be everybody in this class. Let me double check if I got the, the right address. Okay, so as you can see now that we uh, shared the document with the whole class, so I just, reply. just click on the document, open it if you haven't already done so, and then I would just want you to type your name and nothing else, okay? Take this out. So once you're done that, you have seen one of the really cool features of a Google uh, Docs, all right, or Google Drive. If you had a, an iPhone or uh, an Android phone, you could actually also be typing right now at the same time as us. If you have an iPod, same thing. So you download the app, Google Drive, and you can be doing this instead of with a computer, you could be doing it with your iPhone, except you'd be texting technically, but not texting, but you're allowed as long as you're not actually officially texting. And as you can see, everybody's color comes up. So I can see your number, like. Yeah, why are there two of you? Because I'm open in two places. Yeah. So it thinks I'm two people. And I wanna show you something else that's really cool. So this is the official document. Let's pretend you were working with this and somebody was in, uh, I don't know, Ottawa and you're working over here in uh, Metcalf. If you click that. on it, you can see the name of all the people that are working. And you can even say, hey, uh, Miranda, I'll pick on Miranda. Uh -huh. Can you uh, add add some, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's, you know what I mean? Let's pretend we're not talking on the phone, we're just chatting. I'll show you how to video chat later. So you can actually do that. So you click over here, if you see on the top uh, right, click on it and close it. I also wanna show you something else that's really cool because sometimes as, as a teacher, I'm gonna ask you to submit a document that you worked on with your friends. And in the old days, teachers couldn't tell if you worked on it at all or if it was only your friend that worked on it. And what you need to know is I just go like this, see revision history, I just click over here and I see what the red person typed, I see what the blue person typed, I see what the orange person typed. So if you had done a 
a document with like, I don't know, 300 words, I could see that you maybe type nothing and only your partner typed, then you'd be in trouble. But you know, I just want you to know that exists because sometimes I'm gonna ask you to do an assignment together and I, I will check, I'll just go revision history. The other thing that's really cool about revision history is, let's pretend you worked on a document for an hour and you know you guys screwed up and you need to go back in time 10 minutes. You just go back to 10 minutes ago in time, you just click on it and you just go restore this version and then you're back to what it looked like 10 minutes ago. So you don't lose the whole document, you don't have to start over. That's so useful. You can't, you can't live without that once you, you have it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm gonna upload this one as well.